Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. Today I will review the Canon Pixma IP8750 printer's performance for printing stickers, illustrations and other artworks using different types of paper and materials. This inkjet printer retails at around $360 currently and I'm using it for over two years already and I can say that it's definitely perfect for printing illustrations, colorful stickers for uh, creating your own custom envelopes uh, for A3 and even A3 plus uh, posters and I have even created my own wrapping paper design and printed it out on a tissue paper using this printer. In this video I will focus on the setup process, on various printing options and color settings, so basically everything you need to make a well-informed decision. Is it worth buying the Canon Pixma IP8750? This is the question we're going to answer today. Let's go! So the first setup was not very challenging. I would say it was quite simple. I have connected all my devices wirelessly and there hasn't been any problem with connectivity so far. I sometimes print from another room being 10 or even more meters away from the printer. You just have to have your devices connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Moreover, the printer offers AirPrint compatibility, which allows you to print directly from your iPhone and iPad. And I would say this function is very, very handy. Optionally, you can also print through a Canon app. I have noticed that this option also gives quite good results when it comes to quality and actual settings, which you can adjust. So that's definitely a big plus. When you switch on your printer, it takes around one to two minutes for the printer to actually boot up. Uh, you won't be able to print anything in, during this time. The printer will check whether there are cartridges inserted and whether there's enough ink in the ink tanks. After that you will be able to start printing. When it comes to the noise levels I would say it's bearable but it is quite noisy. I'm using it in the small room so um, I'm quite used to it already but basically when it's not printing anything and it's in this rest mode it will make the noise when checking these cartridges once again. Um, but it's something which you basically can tolerate, uh, no problem with that. So I just googled what is the weight of Canon Pixma IP8750 and to be Quite frank, I'm surprised. It's 12 kg, but I'm constantly moving it from one room to another. Because of the limited space, sometimes I need the whole desk to be uh, cleared, so I'm constantly moving it back and forth. So I'm quite surprised. I was thinking it's much lighter, but it's definitely something you can move uh, by yourself, so it's not that heavy. The printer itself is quite big, or I should say quite long, because it's meant for printing A3 plus format posters and photos, so it definitely has to uh, be a bigger size. It's taking up some space, but definitely it's something you can get used to. Let's talk a little bit about the color settings and printing options. The printer employs a 6-ink cartridge system, which leads to extreme color accuracy. Even though I'm not printing photos, I do want my illustrations to look their best, and I think Canon Pixma does a great job printing them. All those cartridges can be replaced individually and light flashes on each cartridge when it's empty. It basically eliminates any danger of accidentally throwing away a half full cartridge. I'm always checking the ink levels on my computer or on my uh, iPhone directly because it's connected through AirPrint, I think, and um, it gives you the live uh, data on how much ink you have left. According to Canon, the standard size, so a 5ml sized cyan, magenta, and yellow ink cartridge will allow you to print around 310 document pages and around 153 photos. Gray, on the other hand, will last a little bit longer. It's 780 document pages and 126 photos. Pigment black will give you 300 document pages and 2000 photos. And black will allow you to print more than 1000 document pages and 337 photos. I must say that I normally print in color, so the standard cyan, magenta, yellow and grey will give me around 50 to 70 A4 uh, sticker pages or patterns, uh, which I'm using for my projects. Of course, when it comes to printing out patterns, it gives you almost 100% um, coverage of the A4 page and when it comes to stickers, you will still have some white spaces. So whenever I'm printing stickers only, it will give me around 70 to sometimes 100 A4 um, pages. 
but whenever I'm printing patterns or something which gives you a lot of color coverage, it obviously will not last that long. I'm using the default Canon settings whenever I'm printing anything. I'm basically choosing the best print quality and also the glossy photo paper even when I'm printing on matte because I believe it gives the best results. Pigment black on the other hand lasts much longer. The cartridge is however bigger than the standard one. It's 15 milliliters so I have to replace it every two to three months. The pack of standard uh, sized ink cartridges retails at around $82. Uh, there is an extra large version, so you don't have to replace it that often. But for example, gray is not part of that set. And I basically cannot find it at my local stores. Lately, it's getting quite challenging to purchase the ink cartridges. And for some reasons, the stocks in uh, the stores are always low. So overall, for me, the ink replenishment is a huge pain point. And I believe it's quite a big disadvantage for this printer. Also another remark regarding the ink. I'm always using the Canon original ink because it definitely leads to the best result. But if you have the local suppliers who produce great ink cartridges and the color quality is satisfying, I think you should go for it. I know that you can save a lot of money on that. And if you experiment a little bit, maybe you will find the supplier which um, basically satisfies your needs. In my case, I have tried several and I wasn't happy with the results. And even when the color was almost comparable with Canon original ink at the end, it was not that durable. Okay, but the biggest question here is what can you actually print with Canon PIXMA? Canon PIXMA offers quite a big choice of various formats. The standard minimum size is four by six inches or 10 by 15 centimeters. So it's your typical photo format and the standard maximum size is A3+, which is quite a big poster. There are also non-standard minimum and maximum sizes so generally you can choose from a wide variety of formats. A big advantage is also borderless printing. I'm using this uh, feature to print my illustrations and I find it very, very cool. Canon PIXMA supports various paper types and materials. So first of all, plain paper, nothing to discuss here, pretty straightforward. I have also printed out envelopes and uh, wedding invitations and wedding stationery using this printer. If you want, go check that video out and I think it will also give you um, quite an idea of what this printer is capable of. The printer does not have any problem with glossy, matte photo paper, with sticker paper, with magnetic paper, with holographic paper, with vinyl. According to Canon, the weight of the paper should be from around 64 to around 300 grams per square meter. But I can tell you, I have printed things which were much lighter and also much heavier. Uh, the last project I have um, also posted on my YouTube channel were the magnetic bookmarks. Also everything printed with Canon PIXMA and the magnetic photo paper was around 600 grams per square meter. So much, much heavier. Additionally, I have attempted to print out the tissue paper for my packaging, which turned out to be too lightweight for printer and was basically the first and only time the printer was jammed. Nevertheless, I've come up with a workaround for this as well and I have managed to printer on the tissue paper using the Canon PIXMA printer. If you want to find more about that, leave a comment below and I will uh, make a video on that. All in all, if this printer is in your budget, I believe it's a great choice. I only had to calibrate this printer twice. So once at the beginning, I think it was the color calibration. And for the second time, uh, the printer was leaving the black marks on the sides of my paper. So I have cleaned the ink nozzle or ink needle, I think, and the problem was gone. Of course, whenever I'm printing on things which are much heavier or also weird types of paper, for example, tissue paper, it might actually jam or lead to, to this black marks on the sides of the paper. But whenever I'm printing uh, standard sizes and this typical weight of the paper, there is no issue at all. I do believe that it still pays off to, uh, for example, have your small business which produces stickers and print them out using the Canon PIXMA printer. Of course, the ink is quite expensive, but you can be sure that your stickers are high quality and durable. So to sum it up, I think it's a great printer. If you're a small business owner or illustrator or a photographer, you can basically print out your own artworks um, in your home studio and they will be of a very, very good quality. Of course, this is not an office printer, so it wouldn't make much sense to print out only black and white documents with it, but sometimes I'm doing it. I don't have a separate office printer 
standard for that, so don't worry. Canon Pixma doesn't have any problems with uh, printing black and white documents. If you have any questions on uh, the printer itself or on how to calibrate it, uh, please feel free to leave the comment below and I will make sure to address the question. Thank you once again for tuning in today and I hope to see you next week. Bye!